Hello and welcome to this channel about cryptocurrency education. Today I'd like to talk about this article which emphasizes that Cardano or ADA Cardano adds 50,000 new staking addresses in just three weeks. So that happened in the last three weeks, which means there has been a growth of 8% because so far at the moment there are around 600,000 active staking addresses. Now there are also around 2,640 active pools and that is growing constantly, which just is a great development because it means that Cardano is on its way to getting more and more decentralized. I mean, at the moment, as long as a um, IOHK is still in there, um, it is still sort of a centralized system. But the plan is, as you know, if you are interested in Cardano and if you invested, and if you're following the Cardano development, then you know that the plan is to get it completely decentralized through things like the governance um, phase in the Cardano roadmap. And the eventual plan is that the community will com completely self-control uh, basically Cardano, self-manage Cardano. So the community will decide about improvements and decisions eventually. That's not fully the case yet. But um, we're getting there, guys, we're getting there. We are moving on our roadmap. We are moving ahead in the right direction. And I'm very curious if this will work as it is intended to. Um, at the moment, the price is 132, I think. It was the latest one that I saw compared to the 246 all-time high. So, and that is very realistic to achieve that again. I'm very, very... Um, bullish about Cardano. I think it's very realistic to hit that again, especially due to the Alonso hard fork that is coming in end of August, September, which will make smart contracts accessible on the Cardano blockchain, on the Cardano platform, or the DeFi applications. And, you know, we, we've seen already with Ethereum and Binance how much liquidity and investment will flow into these uh, onto these platforms with the DeFi applications so that will happen with cardano as well i'm strongly believing that also we all know about the um innovation in cardano on cardano um by the team they also work on a potential uh, stable coin so they are talking about that they have discussed that they're also in contact with various governments and of african countries you know probably uh, better than i do that they are they have plans to support people you know local governments in africa and they want to bring better education to people knowledge and i really like i really appreciate that they talk about these topics that they really focus on these topics of course they want to earn money with it as well but every business wants that and needs that otherwise it won't work but um, it is one of the cryptocurrency projects which will which focuses on these important topics as well and which makes it quite unique as well just because of that. So I'm really curious if, if all of that works. I mean, they've also talked to El Salvador about potential cooperation. I think that didn't move ahead, at least not at the moment, but you know, there are more countries moving in and um, I think they already have quite a, quite really, really um, nice and interesting cooperations going on anyway. So this was just an update today that just shows that Cardano is still growing. It just emphasizes why I'm why I'm bullish on Cardano, why I have invested, why I will continue to invest over the next few weeks and months. I, I always try to cost average. I'm in there for the long term and I won't sell any ADA coins. Well, in the next few years, definitely not. So we will see. I, I, hold, I hope I will be able to hold them at least another three to four five years, maybe even longer. All right, so hopefully you liked that video. If you did, then please smash the like button. And if you want to support the channel, which would be great for the crypto space and to spread the word about Cardano, then subscribe and leave a like and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.